friends. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. I just thought, um, I have seen this everywhere and it's very inspiring and I thought I would try my hand at it today. I did this the other day just playing around. The object of the game is to have a cohesive picture when you're done, I think. I'm also going to show you that I am using my Be Inspired um, multimedia paper, which I really love this stuff. I don't know how big, it's probably not going to be this big, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So the idea for this whole thing is to have, excuse me, that was noisy, have a idea of what you're going to do. And you pick a color of your watercolors, which I'm thinking that I'm going to be picking Quinacrinome Deep Gold. This one right here. Can you see that? I'm looking at you. Yeah, there you go. And then you pick other colors and you mix them into it. And then you make this beautiful collage thing. And then you mark make on top of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, yeah. That's what I'm excited about doing. I don't know what colors I'm going to use yet. I don't know. I also got this lovely little tray at uh, the secondhand store. Um, Saint. Oh, for some reason I can't remember what it is. Anyway, I'll remember it and it'll come back to me and I'll tell you later. So I'm going to try to use that as well. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I have a menagerie of paintbrushes out because I don't know what I want to use yet. Um, but yeah, that's what I think we're going to do. And without further ado, let's do this thingy. Okay, so I'm going to get out my trusty water from Febreze. Just kidding. It's not from Febreze. It is a very old water bottle. Very old Febreze bottle from way back in the day. Okay, I think I like that one. I like, let's turn this this way. There we go. There's paint underneath it, so it's not being very cooperative. Um, I like that, which is hmm, German greenish raw umber, which is very nice. I like my graphite and my graphite gray um no excuse me this is gray titanium so let's put this over here where you can see gray titanium graphite gray very big difference um let's see what do we have next to graphite gray let's add this upside down I'm looking at my thing upside down here. My thing. My thing. My little my little thing that tells me everything, where everything is. I think I'm going to use some of these up here, maybe. A quinacrinome uh, lilac, a quinacrinome violet, rose of aquamarine. We're going to try to stick away from the, gr the red today. Do some pinks. Uh, maybe some greens and some blues possibly who knows I'm just going to wet down a bunch of these that I want to try and then we'll just see where it takes us I don't know um, like I said I've been playing around with this whole idea I haven't really cared for what I come up with so far but it's okay um, so first off I'm going to get some of my Quinacrinome Deep Gold. These are all Daniel Smith, by the way. And I'm going to put it on my palette. And I'm going to water it down. Because. I'm going to water it down this way. Because. Dries out really fast. Everything dries out faster than you think it's going to. 
And then we're going to start off with one shape. I'm going to do squares, rectangles, and anything that comes to my head. So we're just going to start. And I'm going to make a whatever shape I feel. And then we're going to move on from there. It doesn't have to be all in one. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Your shapes don't have to be perfect. Your shapes can be whatever you want them to be. I'm going to pull a little bit of water closer because I am way over here. I got a lot of stuff in my way today. As you can hear. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this is good for me to do too because then it, it makes me remember the names of different um, paints because these are all still new to me. And this one is... German greenish umber. So we're going to put some of that right there and we're going to add some of this to it. And we're going to see what it does when we do that. And it doesn't matter if you have a um, perfect rectangle or if they touch, you can let them touch. Anybody can do this. I want you to let me see. I want you to say, hey, guess what? I did that. It was so cool. I enjoyed it. And I will be like, dude. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of loud. <laughs> I'll be like, dude, you did it. Yay. And you'll be like, yeah, well, whatever you say. I see, I went over too far on that one, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I just mixed it with some titanium gray. I think that was gray titanium. Yes, yes. I got a little close on this one, and that's fine. That's fine. You can do a gradient on these things if you want. Um, titanium gray is kind of creamy, so if you don't want the rest of it to be creamy, then I would say take it off your palette. But if you don't mind, then it's okay. Let's try some green. This one is... Uh, under the sea green. I love the names that he has. Um, if Daniel Smith is a person, it's, I know it's a company now. Um, I love the names. I love the names on them. Under the sea green, in the throne blue. I just love it. Some of the names are fun. Some are normal. But yeah. And you can go back and you can add a little bit of that color in there if you want to. Just because. Just because. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want to do. This is your art. This is yours. You can do it as you see fit. Okay, so we also have... Um, what is this one? Do, 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 do. You know we have... My thing is kind of crazy because I have it upside down. So now I'm like totally backwards trying to figure out who I'm touching. This one is Galaxy Blue. Galaxy. We're going to put it right in there. I don't know if that is Galaxy Blue. That might be deep something or another. That is not galaxy blue. That is, and it's upside down, so I can't read it. I can't see it. I can't say that word, uh, but it's deep sea violet. So we mix that in with some of it. We'll see what happens with that. Well, that came up with an interesting color. I don't think I'm going to tell you guys the colors anymore because it's just making my mind hurt. Um, yeah, 
back to that one and see if we can't add a little bit of this. Oh, look at the granulation. I know this one is a very good granulator and I love, uh, love them. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to turn this back around so I can read everybody and I don't have to be sounding confused all the time because that's just silly trying to read it upside down. Okay, we're back to Norman. Okay, so we're going to go on with the next one, which would be Tundra Rose. I do believe that this is a granulating one as well. Um, yeah, I really think so. Um, that's not a lot. Let's see if we can get a little more of that beautiful color. I really want to see it. Yeah. And then you just mix a little bit of it in with whatever color that your your base color is. And you can also mix it in with the other colors that are in your palette, the ones that you're pulling into it. And you just keep doing this until you're finished with whatever you're doing. As far as you want to take it. And you can put more than one cut, more square or rectangle of each color. If you really like a color, then by all means, do it. And yes, you could do this with um, any paint. You don't have to do it with with fancy, fancy paints like Daniel Smith. And no, they're sometimes they're kind of pricey. But um, you can do this with any paint. You can get anywhere. You can use uh, Crayola. Those are very inexpensive and anybody can probably get themselves some Crayola paints or maybe, um, what's the other one that sits right next to Crayola all the time? I can't remember what the name of it is right now off the top of my head, but yeah, you can do whatever your little heart desires because this is your painting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to go with a, a different green because we started off with the one green in the throne green. This is serpentine, serpentine green. I'm going to put a little something over here. And if you're not flipping your paper round and round, it is hard not to touch the other ones. But that one is dry, so it's not going to do anything. You don't always have to add some of the color in there. I just wanted to. Let's try our graphite. I don't know what the graphite's going to do. Just might make it dark. As you can see, these are not perfect rectangles or squares. I'm not going for perfection. This is just a fun time. This is just a fun thing. Does it just make it darker? It seems like it just made it darker. Yeah, that's um, the graphite. I actually like that just like that. We're going to just leave that because that's that's really fancy and cool. I kind of really like it. I may do it again right here. Just a little bit bigger. This could be a long video and I don't care because this is a process video. This is a video that's going to show you process of what to do and what possibly not to do because you know it's very possible I'm going to come up with something that I'm not going to like eventually along the way. And I'm going to be like, what did I do that for? But we're going to, we're going to just roll with the punches here, man. Okay, so there's this beautiful blue. It is called, yeah, this is under the sea or um, galaxy blue. Let's try this in here somewhere and just see what it comes up with. Ooh. That's fancy color. Oh my goodness. And it it's granulating. This is a granulating color. I have 
I bought three granulating colors that were just super duper granulating. You know what? Those three colors are not, they are not Daniel Smith. I'm going to have to go back and look and see what they are. Yeah, I will have to go back and see what exactly those ones are because they are not, they're not Daniel Smith. They're a different brand. I keep calling this my Daniel Smith. Like it's all Daniel Smith. It's not. Silly me. Silly, silly, silly me. It is not all. No. And as you see right there, I just added some of that green, greenish stuff into the blue one that I like. And this right here is a bloom. This is a bloom because this was dried out quicker than this did. I don't, it doesn't bother me. There's another one right here with this granulating. I think that's pretty. I like blooms. I tried for for years not to get the blooms because people always said, oh my goodness, you can't do that because it's just ugly and nobody likes it. <clears throat> people don't care, just so you know. Okay, so we didn't do any of the pinky ones, but I'm going to try this one just to, uh, just to add those in there just a little bit. How cool is this? And if you have the granulating color sitting there with the other colors, then oh my goodness, it's going to just kind of go, Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> that is not what I was going for. I wanted a little bit of the color in there, but not like that. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get rid of some of that. That doesn't go at all in our little scheme of things here. Well, I like that much better. That's pretty. Okay. So yeah, I like that. And then um, with that one, let's do some more of this blue, but add it into the purpley one with a little bit of that maybe. And we'll just see what happens right here. Cause yeah, you can just add in Whatever colors you want to have. Oh my goodness. This is like the coolest thing ever. Absolutely love doing this now. I was always wondering about this. And I was like not really paying attention to what people were doing. I was not. Uh, uh. I just was ignoring. Like not even really paying attention at all. And then I was like, oh. You know what? That's really cool. Let's see what that does. What is what is it that we're doing here? So these pretty much all ended up being circle or no circles. Circles. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm not really good at teaching shapes, I guess. These all ended up being lovely little rectangles or little squares. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of mix together some of this, do some different shapes along this edge because I want it to be a little bit bigger and we'll see what it does and if they're all cohesive and if they look nice together, that's kind of cool. What do you think? Would you make something like this? It's very relaxing. It's very, very relaxing because you just sit here and just kind of enjoy mixing up colors and seeing what happens. Wow. I like it. We'll put a little bit of this in this one just to even it out a little bit. And then uh, maybe we'll add a little bit of this into this one. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so just to pull it all back together, I'm going to get my my Krenachronome gold that we started off with, and we'll put one of those down here. Maybe not quite so in your face as it is up there. And then maybe we'll add some of these fun colors into it. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, let's try that. Let's just add a little bit of this. Yeah, see what it does. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot. What do you think? I want to hear what you think. Let's get a little bit of one of these crazy colors right here. And then I'm going to be done with this. And then we're going to let it dry. And then I'm going to come back and make some marks on it and see what we come up with. I'm going to rinse this off a bit and add some of this lovely quinacrinone deep gold. Oh my goodness, love this color so much. I have quinacrinone gold too and I love, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I, uh, I saw someone talking about it and I was like, what? They have a quinacrinone deep gold? I mean, seriously, I'm so sheltered up here. I want all of the colors. Daniel Smith, if you're listening, I want all of the colors, please. Like, send me every color you have. Please, 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 please. Oh, would that be cool? I would be in hog heaven, man. I like that. Okay, I am going to walk away from this, let it dry, and then I'll come back. Okay, if you can you see it, can you see how gorgeous that is? Seriously, that is absolutely awesome. I think the only thing that I would change is these two are too similar to me. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They don't have to be dissimilar. They can be the same. I'm not sure what to. I don't know. Anyhow, I have all kinds of things. And one of the good things about doing this in such a big book, you can use this part to test things and be like, okay, so I really want this or really want that or I don't want this. I just grabbed out a bunch of stuff. I don't know what I want. I don't know. I might just want to paint on it. I'm not really sure. But we use graphite, so I thought maybe I would use my fluid graphite. This stuff, once it once it dries, it is dry. It is done. It's not going to be playing around anymore after it dries. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it. It seems pretty thick in there. I just don't know. It seems like you, sh you should shake it up. Let's just test it and see. Do, do, do. Let's test it over here. Let's see if it takes, uh, if you can water it down a bit. Put a little bit over here. Add some water to it. Pretty sure it said it was water-based. Somewhere. Maybe it was on the bottom. Oh, water-based pigment. Yeah. Water-based pigment. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, see, that's better. Okay, I like that better. Okay, so I just put a little bit of water with it. Let's just try to make some lines. I'm not big on doing this stuff. I saw someone doing it the other day, and I was like, wow, that turned out really cool. And um, I think it was... Denise Love, I will, if I remember, tag her video in this because I think I was watching Denise Love the other day. I just love her. She's so funny and um, I love how excited she gets about her art. And she, if you haven't watched it, you need to go watch Denise Love because she is awesome. Okay, let's just try to see if we can. Yeah, so seriously, this is one of those things for me. It's like, what do you do? So I'm just going to just play around and we'll just see what happens. <clears throat> so would you try this that's one of those things 
the million dollar question. Would you try this? Would you see this video and be like, I'm going to go try that. That looks simple. It looks like something I could do. I maybe could make a masterpiece, make my own art and put it on my wall. Why not? Why not? Anybody can. Okay, so we did that. I think that's really good. I don't know if I'll I mean, I may want to do more graphite in a minute, but right now I'm thinking I'm done with that. I'm going to get my smaller paintbrush and I'm going to, you know what? I may not want to use that water since it has the graphite stuff in it. Rinse it off in the other water. Did you hear that? I said I was rinsing it off in the other water. Okay, so this is my Velvet Touch 2. That other one I used was... Royal Langen Nickel. Dude, I love their paintbrushes. It is a 10 slash zero. It's a very, very nice little pointy guy. I have a lot of their paintbrushes. Seriously. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Okay, so I'm going to do some gray. I don't know exactly where yet, but let's try it. This is that watercolor gray that we used earlier. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's try some of that um, quinacrinone lilac that we used, like full strength. Let's try it full strength and see what that does for us. Put it over on our thing and just kind of Maybe some dots or some funny lines. I meant to do dots. It comes off on fun as funny lines. I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just looking to enjoy myself and see what comes of it. Some big dots, some little dots. Some dots that look like spaceships. Maybe I need a bigger paintbrush for this. What do you think? Some that look like diamonds. That's not a dot. That's a diamond. <laughs> Silly. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Doopy, doopy, doop. good okay so what did we use with this one this one we used the um or the granulating one yeah let's do some of this granulating loveliness let's make some lines let's make some lines i mean you can only do so many things right i don't think you're going to get much granulation in just a line straight from the the... Ooh, I like that. What do you think? I like that. That's cool. Let's try the other granulating one. Oh, one was Tundra Rose. This is Tundra Rose. The other one was Deep Sea Violet. Okay, Tundra Rose. Where do we want to put that? Ooh. Look at this. Look at that. Because of the pink, you know? So we'll put pink in there. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, I want to try this. These uh, these are for Karen markers. They're really awesome. Are you guys being able to see all this? Sure you are. Of course. They're watercolor markers. But um, 
paintbrushes, brush marker pro. Amazing. Amazing. I like it so very much. Let's make some marks. Do, 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 do. I like to make that mark right there. That mark is one of my favorite things to do because it's just so pretty. And it doesn't look like it was quite dry. Oh, that makes me happy. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Doesn't have to go all the way to the top. It could if you wanted it to. Mine are not going to go all the way to the top. Because that's what I don't, I don't feel like it. I feel like it should be like this. Yeah, I like that. I love this color. Olive black. I love that color. That's a very a fine color. That's a fine color. I like that color. I also like my Sharpie roller. Let's see what we can do. Let's make some... Um, let's make some circly things. Again, it don't have to be the whole thing. You don't have to stay inside the lines. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. They don't even have to touch. Some of mine might touch, some of them might not. But I found this to be tedious. Uh, when I first started doing this kind of stuff, it was very tedious to me. It drove me crazy just trying to mark make. I was like, I hate this so much. But then once I got some shapes that I was like comfortable with, not trying to make the shapes everybody else is making. Not trying to be like, oh my goodness, I have to be just like everybody else. Just trying to make some different shapes made me happier. Just doing it my own way. And that's what everybody needs to do. Art is subjective. Art is your own. Art is fun. Make it fun do something. I don't know. For some reason that just doesn't look like it's like finished in understanding. Do you see what I mean? It doesn't look like it's done. Weird. I don't know. I have all my lights on too and it's just very... I don't know. Let's see if we can get more light. Oh, there's a little more. We'll see. Okay, and I have my goals. Do, 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 do. And everybody does the same stuff. So if you watch anyone else's paintings, things, they all do these dots. Everybody does dots. It's just a thing. Dots and lines, lines and dots. It's just what it is. And this is, I think it's Pentel. Let's look. It's a sparkle. Yeah, sparkle Pentel. Um, I love the sparkly ones. Ooh. Yeah, like that. Let's try. I also got another sparkly one. This is sparkly gold or red black. Um, yeah. You'll see it. It it sparkles, but it is it's red and black. Let's 
it looks red or it looks black but then when you shape shift it or look to the side or I don't know what that means what what word I'm looking for right now but if you look to look at it on the side it reflects red yeah yeah I'll show you that when it's all finished but yeah it does okay let's try that again over here let's do maybe some hash not hashtags but hash lines Interesting. Interesting. I liked it and then I messed it up. Okay, I like that better. Okay. We're good. I like that better. Okay, what else do I have out here? Oh, I got out the uh, amber color because we have so much of this in here. So let's try that. I'm not big on squiggly lines. I suppose you could do squiggly lines if you wanted to. I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure. That's my clock telling me you should be doing. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's interesting. I also got out this one and this one. Sapphire blue and Aegean. This one is more watercolory. This one's more pigment. I think we're going to try this one. I think so. Let's try this one. I like that just like that is. I'm not going to do nothing to that. I like it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I like that. I really like that. That is kind of cool. Let's do some of that up here. Yeah, I like that kind of shape. That's cool. It's very cool. I like this color. It's a good color. A G and I have to remember that's a cool color. Okay, let's try some of this. Sapphire blue. Wow, it's gotten quiet. I have a hard time with the whole, there's no noises. <laughs> there's, there's no noises coming out of me. Oh no. You know, and then you can also take your little brush and soften this up a bit because it's a watercolor.
Maybe I like it darker up there, but I don't like it so dark down here. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's kind of dark. Turned it kind of dark. I don't mind it now. The dark on one side. Ooh, kind of went up a little bit too far. That's okay, though. See? That's okay. Not the problem. Not the problem. You can also just kind of... But I really liked that color, and now it has changed. It's okay. Cool. Cool, cool. I like that. Okay, we're good. Um, I also got out this. This is a brush marker, and it is like light gray. Like light, 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 light gray. And I was just thinking... I wonder if it would even do anything. It does. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I'm going to do a little bit over here. How cool is that? How cool is that? Hold your paintbrush or your pencil or your marker at a funky angle too because that's a good thing to do. randomness you can tell when you're having fun because then you don't talk a whole lot I'm wondering if I'm gonna usually I make the video I put the video out and then a few days later I put or even the next day I put out a uh, a reel or you know something to make I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. Um, a short or a reel. And that was really nice. It's fun. <laughs> a reel, really nice. <laughs> okay, so this one's just white. This one's so hard to get open. Let's see. Wow, it's not really very white today. Come on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can't see that at all, can you? If I can't see it, you guys can't see it. Never mind. We're not going to do it. Maybe we'll put some white on with this stuff. Liquitex acrylic ink. I like acrylic inks. I haven't even opened this yet. I was thinking this would be good for like splatters, but today I'm not feeling the splatter. It's probably not great to use your watercolor paintbrushes with acrylic inks, but I do often, often on, often on. Well, that kind of pulls it all together, doesn't it? How do you think? What do you think about all this? Are you going to try? I could just keep doing this all day long because this is fun. Just, just keeping going with it. This is going to be the longest video in the record of the world. Maybe not, but you know what I mean. That's a lot. Calm down. Dude. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Boop, 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 boop. See, if I was on a piece of paper, I would flip it around. No, I like that. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of something on this one. Although I love this one the way it is. It's a blobby globby. Nope. 
I don't like that at all. Let's get rid of it before it dries. You see? Now I like it better. Now there's like hardly anything there. I like that much better. That's good. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Put a little, little bit in some of these. Don't have to do every one. You can if you want to. Okay, I think I'm going to be done. Oop, I missed one. If you're going to do them all, then you got to do them all, right? Right, right. Yeah, I like it. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to say it's done. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to drop that brush really well. We didn't even use this side, really, so we could still make something over there. But let me look at it. Yeah, look at that. Very interesting. I like that a lot. Okay, it's just a process of trying something different and seeing it's supposed to help you. You know, art is uh, one of those things that just helps you relax. And I would hope, whoops, giving you some kind of wiggle over there. I would hope that you try this whether you need to relax or not. Maybe you need something to make you just chillax a bit. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to try it. Maybe you just want to watch the video. Anyhow, no matter what you want or what you don't want, I hope you have a great day. I hope everything around you is coming up roses. And I am hoping that you'll go to this video, watch it, Give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. Say, hey, I would love to hear from you. Comment and I will talk to you soon. And subscribe. Send it to your friends. It's all great. I would love to hear from you. Okay. I will talk to you soon. God bless. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.